hello everyone and welcome back to a new vlog or welcome to my channel if you are new around here this is going to be a weekly vlog in which i will show you pr packages which have arrived and um things that i've purchased throughout my week as well as what i get up to throughout the week so i'm actually starting this vlog now on thursday it's been a really busy week so on sunday you would have already seen alfie's birthday party video so that's already gone up um, and we've just all been so tired since then like the kids have even been sleeping in it's been unbelievable um i am just filming a reel for a h&m parcel which have, has finally arrived it was like two weeks late um so i thought while i'm filming that i'm going to show you some of the new in pieces i got and how i would style them everything as always is linked in the description box below um i've curled my hair again with the beauty works molly may wand and i love how it how it looks but i just can't seem to get the curls to stay i don't know why like with my really 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 old one my curls used to stay in all day and i never even used to put hairspray in it so i don't really know what's happening i don't know why that why a different curling wand would make any kind of difference to the curls actually staying in i don't know if you, any, if you have any tips please do let me know okay first up we have these trousers from h&m they are well they were oh it doesn't say a price on them um but these are their cropped trousers but on me they actually work as trousers because i am very very short um i really like them they're a really nice soft material i've styled them with ugg boots and a white shirt and my brown celine belt which i think is quite a nice casual look but every day quite smart as well this would be like a good workwear look wouldn't it um the only thing is it doesn't have belt loop holes which is a real downside i think to these trousers um and also i just tried to iron them and where they've got the dark going through the middle of the leg can you see the um i was awful at ironing them so i don't think i'm going to keep these but i thought i would share them with you anyway yeah i will still share with you the things that i'm not keeping but yeah, I think um, all in all, this is a, quite a cool little look. Um, and then the waistband is actually elasticated, so stay true to size. Don't go sizing up on these ones. Next up, we have this black cardigan, which I got in a size medium, hoping that it would be a little bit longer so it could be worn as a dress, but unfortunately it is not. So I've just popped a white shirt underneath, which I will link to. This is Kourtney Kardashian's range from Boohoo. And then I belted it just to make it look a little bit more different from like, it was just giving me kind of workwear vibes or schoolgirl vibes. And then I've popped on these H&M boots, which are exactly what I have been looking for. I loved the tote, tote me, tote me boots, uh, the riding boots that they had last year. They're still available this year, but they are, I think, 700 and something pound. Um, so these are like as close as I can find as a dupe. Um, they have this kind of buckle which is exactly the same as the ones that they have. However, they are kind of raised so you can't actually pull this all the way over the boot. Um, so it kind of flops up and then you just have to kind of keep pushing it down. Which I don't mind. If you watched last week's vlog, you would have heard hear me say that I was really after a pair of boots that was in between the chunky boots and in between the riding boot and this is definitely those they're, they're a lot more feminine they're not as tight on my leg as i would want but they're just perfect unfortunately i got my normal size but there is a lot of room still in the back and i think if i size down then they'll also not be as they'll be a, obviously a little bit less fabrics they might be even tighter so i'm going to return these but get them in a lower size and then i'm actually going to get rid of all my other chunky boots and potentially the riding boots that i have because i feel like these will be the only boot that i need yeah i love them they're really really nice and i like that the detailing is gold as well because a lot of my bags and jewellery I wear is gold. Classic boot, not too chunky but still on trend and I love the shape of the toe, everything about, about it. So this next look was a bit of a wild card so these mini skirts are obviously everywhere at the moment. 
from the completely inspired from the Mew Mew catwalks and I thought I would give it a go. So I'm a little bit out of my comfort zone here. I don't really do mini skirts because they tend to be not mini on me because of my height. So this one is H&M, got my normal size, but I've actually rolled it up so it's a little bit shorter um, for me, which is just perfect. I envisioned wearing this with a jumper and Ugg boots, but it just didn't work as well as what I had thought in my head. So instead I put the boots on and then paired it around the bottom half. So I've gone for a black roll neck and then added an oversized blazer, which is a similar color to the skirt. The blazer is from Everlane and added my Celine belt to just tie in those browns. And then this bag, which I think was from iCrush, but it's obviously meant to be a um, Hermes dupe, isn't it? So um, yeah, I think it works really well. My Louis Vuitton bag would have gone with this as well, but um, it's actually a look that I quite like. I just feel like these boots just really tie everything in together. I have just had to nip out halfway through this to go and pick Pollyanna up from school. It is already that time of day. She finished an hour earlier today. Oh, that's annoying. Um, yeah, she finished, an, she finished an hour earlier today because we have our first ever parents evening already. Um, so the next item from my H&M haul is this knitted zip up jumper dress, which is just so perfect for the casual day. I'm wearing a small in this and I've just added my Celine belt to kind of give me some shape because otherwise it kind of looks like, I don't know, on me it just looks like very unflattering. Um, and then I've paired it with my Ugg boots, which is a really cute, simple little look. Obviously if I was wearing this around the house, I wouldn't be wearing the belt until I was going out. Um, but yeah, I just thought it was a really cute little simple look. I also like the length of this one, so it's above the knee, which means you could also get away with wearing knee boots with this one potentially. Um, and I like that the sides have these little splits. Tights would also be really nice with this. Um, so yeah, this one is a potential keeper. Next up, we have this, another jumper dress, which I really, really like. I prefer this actually to the gray one. Um, I'm wearing a small in this. I love that the collar isn't too thick um, and it's not too high either. But I just don't know. The sleeves look like there's a lot of excess fabric on them. Um, yeah, but apart from that, I love it. The length is perfect. And if I wanted to make it shorter, I could use the belt to kind of cinch it over. And again, it looks lovely without the belt. I've paired it with Ugg boots. Again, just to that casual kind of around the house kind of feel everyday look um, but yeah like it works perfectly without the belt you could dress this up very easily with a pair of boots and a belt so a pair of black boots I might actually do that now just to just to see what it's like to decide on if I'm keeping it or not okay I'm much more feeling this how I've styled it this way this is something that I would wear on an everyday basis or out for lunch with the girls out for lunch with Adam like this is just a really really nice outfit I actually wish I realized I ordered this because I would have wore this yesterday to London we went to London yesterday to see the Peaky Blinders dance show and oh my goodness it was absolutely incredible we went with Jenny um, and her fiance Jack um, and Jenny got it for me and Adam for our birthdays and oh, it was absolutely incredible. But yeah, I wish I'd wore this. I'd insert what I did wear um, over here. This is what I wore. Um, but yeah, I wish I wore this now. Gutted. But um, yeah, this is kind of the thing how I would style it. So this blazer is new look, dress obviously H&M, do your belt and then the shoes are the riding boots which I'm going to get in my in a lower size. Um, but yeah, it look, just works really well. And if uh, the blazer wasn't something that you'd want to do, you could just go for this and add like a longer coat, a coat that maybe came down to here. A nice camel coat, a nice black coat would go really, really nicely with this. And you don't really need the belt for this one. And lastly, this blazer, which I actually got so many compliments on when I wore it yesterday. It's like a real oversized um, blazer. So get your normal size in this. I think I'm wearing an eight. Um, belted it so it would give like a more feminine look and then I have a black polo neck underneath leather shorts which you can just see like when you're walking it kind of peeks through and then the riding boots this is what I wanted to wear to London yesterday but obviously the riding boots are too big so I wore this look with my black loafers um, 
I completely almost forgot this one and I wasn't going to film it and then I thought, Do you know what, I've made all this effort to film this reel, I might as well film everything. So this is a striped t-shirt. I'm wearing this in a small so it's really, really oversized. I really like this. I think it's like a everyday, casual, basic piece. Let me just show you what it is like untucked so you can get a feel for it. But like this with leggings and trainers, like on an everyday thing would be so easy to wear. Um, but as you can tell, it's really oversized. So it'd be quite nice with leggings actually, you know, like when you want to cover your bum. But um, personally for me, if I was wearing this, out properly, properly I would tuck it in and you really get a nice feel. I like that the collar has this kind of thick white band, it kind of breaks it up. I love a stripe, stripes are so big again. I just think they, ne they never go out of fashion do they? We have just had Pollyanna's first ever little parents evening and oh my god I cried. <laughs> The teacher was, so, I wasn't expecting them to say such lovely things about, obviously I know Pollyanna's a lovely child, but when you hear it from somebody else, um, she was just saying that Pollyanna is such an honour to teach, like a pleasure to teach, and she was like, she's just such a lovely, kind girl, she includes everyone, she treats everybody the same, she's so welcoming, and oh, she was just like, she's, oh, she's just so lovely, and like, I can't even say, like, oh, I can't even emphasise, like, how lovely the things that her teacher said were, um, but yeah, she's just always so kind. She's so bubbly. She's a pleasure to be around. And she's, she, people are attract, like she attracts people to her and she's caring. She even cares about the teacher. She said she even like cares for me and makes, makes, she likes to make sure that I'm okay. And um, yeah, like just, yeah, I knew she was enjoying school and I know she loves it so much. And she takes part, yeah, she gets up at the front and she talks about things and she's very confident and outgoing, which I was surprised at that because Pollyanna can be quite shy. There's 30 in her class and there's 90 across three of her classes. Um, but the teacher said, yeah, she's really confident, she's happy to get up and talk in front of the class and talk about what she's doing or what she's going to do. And um, when it comes to like sitting on the mat to do their learning, she's always listening she's very attent like her attention is always on the teacher which was another thing we are very shocked about because at home Pollyanna is very wild and full of energy and her attention span is not very good and it's something we've always asked nursery about but um the teacher says yeah she's like one of the ones that I don't have to be like look at me concentrate like she's always concentrating she's always wanting to learn and she's um eager yet yeah, really eager to learn and I just can't believe how nice that was and I was I cried she was like honestly like you should be so proud of Pollyanna you raised a lovely little girl I was just like oh my god isn't that wasn't that so nice I wish I recorded it like in my pocket to play back to Pollyanna like I just never ever want to forget this I never it was just I'm so proud of her and I can't wait to go back and give her a big kiss and cuddle and tell her how proud of her I am. So we've just stopped by the house and the skirting boards are now going on. I'm not sure, did I show you the floor? So the floor has been laid and I'm so pleased with it. We've gone for real wood parquet flooring and I'll link to that below. And then the skirting boards are just going on now and these are from Skirting World and they have so many different ranges of skirting boards and heights and widths. And I went, I wanted something that was obviously quite traditional, like the rest of the house, well, like most of the house. Um, and I'm really pleased with them. And you can choose to have them either um, undercoated or, or not. You can this room in here has been fully done with the skirting boards. I just love them, they look so good. And then we've got the architraves to go around the doors as well. The doors, let me show you this. We paid to get the doors all taken off and professionally stripped. It cost us quite a bit of money and we both don't like the outcome. Obviously every door is different, but we're both not keen on them. 
We obviously should have just done a test patch or just done one door to see if we liked it rather than doing the whole house. Um, you know, that's a mistake we made. We were like rushing things. So I'm not sure whether we're gonna <laughs> paint them back or um, maybe try and stain them with something. We just hoped that they would be a lot lighter. Um, and obviously like this one here has got like, yeah, it's just, all, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but it's just not what I had envisioned in my head. I kind of wanted a really light oak door. So we potentially will, um, yeah, paint them back. Oh, it's heartbreaking, isn't it? And in the long term, I think, yeah, I think we'll keep these, these, but just clean them all up, try and like make them a bit darker. Um, but yeah, all in all, we are getting there. Skirting boards are looking so good. Um, and then yeah, the architraves are also from Skirting World. And yeah, I just love how in keeping with the house they are. They are looking very nice. So yep, doors are being hung back on. See, this door doesn't look as bad. I like this one, but I don't like that well, one. painted up an architrave on it when I start to look. Maybe, yeah. Better. Hopefully, otherwise, what a waste of money. <laughs> like, we could have sanded them down ourselves, but we just didn't have the time. We're in such a rush to get, get back into the house. But yeah, you can see like this, this one is like a, has like a red tinge to it in comparison to that one. I don't know, we have to see. Um, this bathroom still is yet to be painted, but you can see the bath is in place and the toilet is, you know, in place. They're not done. This is the sink and then the tiles that we got from Tops Tiles. And then let's just show you the shower. You get a little feel for it. And then the only thing as well with this room I'm really disappointed about this radiator now i haven't said to adam but i, I want to change it basically we got this first and then we found the bathroom suite and obviously it's like a brushed antique gold it's like a yeah which i love because it won't get smears on it won't like it won't be hard to like upkeep look at the legs on these i'll link to all the items down below but um so this is the color that we've got in the shower the toilet is that colour, like the brass on the, the thing on the toilet, the legs on the sink and the shower, and then you've got the radiator, which is like a bright gold. So it's just a pain, isn't it? Because obviously the tiles are down. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do. Maybe just leave it. I don't know. I'll have a little look. I'll speak to Adam and see if it can be. If I've got one that was the same size, potentially it wouldn't be a problem. Uh, but yeah, we'll see. We'll come back to that in a minute. Yeah. You need to wax a little bit anyway too. Yeah. Because um, if you don't wax them, you know, that's one that's so easy to crack. Yeah. In terms of that, I don't have Oh, okay. So it needs to be waxed. But yeah, I like the colour of this one as well. This is on Alfie's room. Yeah, like I love, I love that actually. So that, it might work actually. I feel a bit pos more positive. And you can see like when they're on, it actually looks nice with the white walls. Yeah. We are at Diggerland. Diggerland today. This was Alfie's birthday present. And we're gonna go on some diggers. We've never been here before, it's our first time. And they have actually allowed me to do a giveaway. So head over to my Instagram or enter, but it'll be a chance for you to win some tickets to visit Diggerland yourself. So that was really, really cool. Um, but I think the majority of our day here is gonna be over on Pollyanna and Alfie's channel so if you want to see what we got up to and see their little mini vlog that will be on their channel I'll show you some bits today but um the whole the whole day will be over on their channel Alfie's obsessed with like trucks and diggers and tractors aren't you Alfie yeah he's so excited so we've just got here we're gonna go head inside and see what Diggerland is all about but then <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> that looks so fun! Uh, 
That's it, me and Pollyanna are just driving a digger. That's it. Shall we scoop some of this bit over here? That's it, you drop it then, Pollyanna. That's it, put it back towards you. Well done. Pollyanna's putting her hands up. We're as high as the tree, Pollyanna just said. What happens? Do, do we drop those on the floor? I think so. <laughs> My belly's gonna go funny. <laughs> Yeah. Three, two, one, off we go. And whoa! Hey. Whoa. Hey. And then don't jump up on the ground. Yeah, you've been driving some other ones, so you've had practice now, Polly, and I remember you. And we're going to give these guys a wave as we come past. So those guys have just finished doing it. Yeah. It's actually super hard, but where you're such a good driver, you make it look easy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But I, I've been driving all the time. Pollyanna just drove a, what is that? A JCB, and she done so well, honestly. It like went all around the tracks, and yes, she drove it all through. And Alfie, what was that? You loved it. <laughs> I think Alfie's having a good day. Are you having a good day as well? Good morning everyone. So today is now Thursday and I have the videos going up today but I realised I didn't do an outro and I also would love to show you a little bit more of the house. Um, so the skirting has, I showed you the skirting boards being laid, like put on and then the flooring has been done but this week the kitchen has been put in but not fully so the kitchen carcasses go in um, and then the guy came around yesterday to template for the worktops. This week, me and Adam, we also went up to pick our stone of mar our stone for the worktop. Um, I'm really glad we did because we were going to have something that was very similar to what we had in our last house. But I said to Adam, I really, really wanted something that was quite prominent, something that had like a real big street streak lines going through it which is really funny because the last time we were done our, our previous kitchen that was something I didn't like and I was like I really don't want anything and he he agreed we were both on the same page with that so it's funny how your tastes can change but also it's changed because of the way the house is like the house is gonna it's the, the kitchen is such a large space you've got the white cupboards and um I just feel like and then you but then you've got like the black on the windows um and there'll be other elements of black around the house like the black island um so it's just a real it's kind of like pulling it all together and i just feel like 
I don't want it to look too clinical and I want it to say like wow like when you walk in so that was really important um, so we needed a super jumbo slab because we didn't want a line going through the middle of the island or any other parts of the the worktops um, which was really important for us as well we wanted it just to be like one big piece so we've managed we've done it we found a slab which was incredible because that would have delayed us more even more so so it is looking like we're going to be moving into the house on halloween at the moment so yeah exciting um so yeah i'm hoping i'm hoping to take you back to the house later on today um something that i don't think i've ever spoke about on my channel i'm not sure if i have but my mum um about 10 years ago was diagnosed with cancer she survived and she beat it um and then she has had um, checkups as they do, but it was, so she went into remission, but then the doctor kept her on and has always, always um, done checkups on her. And they were every year, I believe. Normally it's like every three years, but he really wanted, to, he's, he's just brilliant, this guy that she had. Yeah, um, it's gonna be a long, a long, long day. But yeah, luckily it's in the morning and we haven't got to wait around all day. But, um, so yeah, just please bear with me if this vlog ends here. Um, I will come back again on Monday with a new video, but, um, I'm going to really try and stay on top of work. For me, work is what keeps me busy and, um, that's what's, yeah. I'm, I'm rambling now because I don't know what to say. So, we've had the phone call of my mum's consultant and it is still the same um so basically no update and this has been going on now for two years so it's been two years since they found um a cancer nodule on her lung and um yeah so they i feel like i never know where to start when i talk about this um so basically we were told that she was going to be speaking with a chemotherapy uh, receptionist so then we instantly thought, okay, so chemotherapy is going to start. However, that's not the case. They, the PET scan showed that there's cancer activity on her lung and um, they're going to do another blood test because her blood markers are, are high as well. Her cancer markers in her blood are high and they've been going up over the last few months. So they'll do blood test and another scan and just keep monitoring at the moment. It is too small. Um, and it has to get to one centimetre before they can do any radiotherapy um, just because it, it is it is really small um, but it, I guess it's just the case of like watching it and catching it as it starts growing and then um, starting to act on it so they have said that radio like be prepared for the next in the next three months so which is January to um, be be in the process of radiotherapy which she hasn't gone through before um, she has gone through chemotherapy um, and that was about 11 years ago so I don't know if it, I don't know if I mentioned so yeah 11 years ago she had um, bowel cancer and then she had lung cancer and then they operated on her left lung and they said that she also they found cancer on her right lung so then she went back in for another major operation they took away that part of her lung only to find that it wasn't cancer um so you can see like my mum's very dubious about this now as well because she's she's they've said it before that it was cancer and she's very much in the mindset of well this could be the same thing it might not be cancer and i fully get where she's coming from it's just very hard to like navigate myself and like trying to be positive for her and trying to see her side of it but then me trying to be like realistic and is it yeah realistic I don't know like I I just don't know where we stand and I don't we're in limbo we're all in limbo and I just keep thinking like imagine how my mum feels I like broke down this morning with her because we gen and then she did as well which never happens but um, I genuinely thought we were going to be told like she had months to live or um, yeah like the start of treatment would happen and then so basically they also said that she had something on her spleen and then on this phone call they never even mentioned it and when we questioned it they said that that was just a cyst um, but it's just weird how they never mentioned it this time so 
If any of you are also going through this, you know, maybe a family member has cancer. Obviously cancer is one in two at the moment and there's not a person I don't know who hasn't dealt with someone who know, knows someone who's got cancer or, yeah, it's just a really um, isolating thing, I think, because you part of you, you don't want to talk about it to anyone. You don't want to burden any, anyone with the issue, your issues or how you're feeling and you you don't want you don't want to bring the bring the mood down like talking about it so it's a really really weird thing but anyway she's okay for now so it is just like another little glimpse of hope and just got to enjoy every moment with her so anyway adam has just gone to pick up the kids from school this video is due to be going up in the next hour so i thought before i ended it i'll get into a little unboxing with you this has arrived and this is from Pottery Barn Kids. Um, so I'm gonna open it up with you. It's huge. Oh, let me show you. It literally, oh, that is my phone. Look how big, it's huge. They asked if I wanted to feature some Halloween things for the kids, and of course, I said yes. Um, we were hoping, obviously, to be in the house for Halloween so I could decorate it all. At the moment, it looks like we're going to be moving on Halloween, so I'm, I'm very, very gutted. But yeah, let me get open in this before the kids come, and then I, I don't want them to see it, and then they'll want to put everything on right away. Um, so, their costumes are so brilliant. This one is a Halloween light-up cat tutu costume. So it's five pieces. You've, get, you've got the tutu, the top, the headband, the mittens. Oh, and then it lights up. So, how cool is that? I wonder if you can, I can show you. Oh, and the tail. How does it light up? Oh, you can see it's got like fairy lights inside it. It needs batteries, but it has a little on off button. There we go. And it comes in its own little pouch, which is Velcroed, so you won't lose it. But yeah, that's really cute. So the tutu is separate, and then it has the tail attached to it, which is a really nice big tail. Um, but yeah, that's really, really sweet. And then obviously the headband, and then the top, which has also the little pink mittens. Pollyanna's gonna love that. She always wants to be a cat at some point throughout Halloween. Always. We have to do, we do so many different things anyway. So she gets to do loads. Oh, oh. We have got the Monica Leher Pottery Barn Kids. Oh my goodness, this. Oh my goodness. This is for Pollyanna's bedroom and I didn't know that they were sending there. So bear in mind, Pollyanna has a French antique bed. King size bed, we didn't know it was king size. We, we brought it and it looked like a big single. Um, and I'm just trying to find a mattress now for it because I think we'll keep it for now. Oh my goodness, is this, I have to open it to see. I think this is, you know one of those things that go over the bed? Oh my God, it's so beautiful. Their, oh I don't know, is it? Their Monica Lehue range is so amazing. I don't know. Yeah, so you know those nets that go around the bed? So basically, you have the circle at the top of the bed, and then the netting comes down, but the, 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 the thing, the top of it is a crown, and it is so princessy. It is like a girl's dream. Um, but oh my goodness, the detail. Oh, look at the detailing. That is like embroidery, like, oh, stitched embroidery beads. That's beads, look at that. Oh my God, it's stunning. So it comes, it must come in two parts. Look how long that is. So that will traipse all the way. Oh my God. Oh my God, I had no idea they were sending this. But then Monica, Le, I hope Monica, Monica Lahilia range, I'm probably saying that wrong, um, is divine. It's really like French whimsical, traditional, like just, incredible um yes yeah, so it comes in two parts but the crown's not there so i don't know um okay yeah they're bedding 
they've got i actually always look at the pottery barn website for um home inspiration for the kids bedrooms because they always the way they style their sets they're like and display their homeware is just so beautiful i always get so much inspiration for them i really wanted to do a kind of whimsical love shack fancy print slash fairy print on her wall like in a wallpaper but i just haven't found the right one a lot of them are like really really bright pink i want like a very pale dusty pink wallpaper with like just something like really like magical like fairies or some i can't put my finger on it but i can't find anything like it so at the moment she has white walls but I'm also going to be doing some panelling in her room, like French panelling. Um, that will also be going in the bathroom as well and in our room. Oh, wow. How brilliant is this? Oh, my goodness. Also, can I just say the price point of these costumes are higher, but the quality is by far outstanding and you can understand why. And also because if you have more than one kid, you can pass them down or you can pass them on to friends and family. This one is a skeleton. So this is for Alfie. He keeps asking to be a skeleton. So you have the head and then you have the little body, but it's so soft. It zips up at the back. And you know, like normally they're made out of like polyester, really, really thin fabric. This is nice and thick and it's like so soft. It's like um, velour fabric love that glow and it glows in the dark oh my god he's gonna love this we know so we normally go pumpkin picking and then we go to like a kind of scary maze or something like that and they always dress up so yeah how cool is that and it glows in the dark <gasps> he's obsessed with things that glow in the dark he is gonna love that okay then we've got a big oh no we've got something else in here Ah, uh, these are so good little goodie bags what are they called treat bags six sturdy fabric so they won't break like the plastic ones do but yeah I love them we know how to get this out I can't believe she's got this she is one lucky girl oh my goodness so this is something she will have for years to come like oh yeah it is just part of me doesn't want to take it out because obviously we have to move next week <laughs> but let me just show you i'm going to try and keep it in this in this box so this is the crown that will go at the top of her bed let's see i'm going to insert a photo because i don't actually want to get it all out but look, it's so much bigger as well than what I had thought. It's got these kind of crystal balls on it as well. These golden balls and then the golden plated leaves. But so magical. So then that goes above her bed. And then those the curtains kind of drapes on this and hangs over her bed. I can't think what they're called. A valance? Uh... I cannot think what they're called, but as a little girl, I always wanted one, always, always. And I think I might have got one, no, did I? Like a netting. I can't remember, but I remember having a stage, going for a stage where I really, really wanted one of those nets that go over. I think we went on holiday and we had one on holiday and then I went home and I was like, I really, really want one. So yeah, that is so incredible. And we're also, We've also got um, Monica Le here bedding, um, which will be coming as soon as I know what mattress we are having. But um, oh my goodness, I cannot wait. Honestly, I'm just so excited. Now I know I didn't get a chance to take you to the house to show you it, but there will be a updated video on a reel on my Instagram. So if you do want to have a look, head over there now. Um, I'm not sure I said either, so we, I managed to get Adam to go for cream carpet. Yes. Um, he really, really despised the idea of having cream just because we've got a dog, we've got two kids and, you know, but I think it's the one that we went for. It's like you can put bleach on it, 100% bleach, and it will you can clean it like that. So it must be quite hard wearing. 
but we've gone for like a really nice thick one as well whereas before the one that we had in our last house it was just a very thin one it was like again end, end of the project when you start like going like you your budget's gone and you kind of think oh um but yeah we've made sure we've gone for a really good underlay thick underlay and then a thick um carpet as well so i can't wait to just lie on that <laughs> yeah that is it it has been a really tough week a really long week um i'm really glad it's it's over almost pollyanna will now be on half term so i will see you in monday's video <laughs>